A lambda function, also sometimes called a function literal or anonymous function, is a function that isn't declared and bound to a specific identifier. Typically, these are short inline functions designed to take care of a small task immediately where it's needed, like sorting or filtering an array, without having to declare a bunch of functions in your class that are only needed in one spot. In Godot 4, you create a lambda function by declaring it anywhere you'd put a callable, since internally that's what Godot creates when you declare it, whether that be by storing it to a variable for later use and invoking it using call when needed, or by passing it directly into something expecting a callable, such as a signal connection. Taking some of the new array functions in Godot 4 as an example, here's how we can filter an array both without and with lambdas. Sure, it's not a drastic difference, but with enough cases like this, the lines of code saved can really add up. You could also use a lambda to say, listen for a signal from a child object and re-emit or propagate that signal up the chain using another signal. And that's Lambda functions in Godot 4 in a nutshell. As two final notes on their usage, be aware that it is actually possible to name your Lambda functions for debugging purposes, and that variables declared outside of your Lambda function but used internally by it are passed by value, not reference, meaning you won't see updates to their values if you change them. Other than that, go wild and be sure to check out the docs for all the details.